Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I have two. I have two ideas. We can react to um, shitty aquariums, and then we're gonna react to good aquariums. Found on local online marketplace. Seems like it could use some more platies. Yeah, I'd say so. You guys think there's enough platies in there? This is insane. But even this, with like the amount of hiding stuff that there is, and it being small fish in a tank, might actually be better than those tanks that have like the monster fish with like. 50 like red tail catfish and shit like that and even like like a thousand gallon might actually be worse than this why is it that my brain doesn't hate this like this should be so easy to hate and just be like this is stupid as hell but my brain is like ah it's not that bad my brain is downplaying it in my head cape may zoo axolotl in a five gallon enclosure cape may isn't that new jersey that was your first mistake was going to an aquarium in new jersey cape may is just gross in general <laughs> Snap, my sister sent me of a class fish. Lovely. Yeah, this is pretty much what we had. This is pretty much what the fish looked like at my high school. In our aquatic ecology class, or aquatic biology class. We literally had an aquatic biology teacher in class, and she kept fish like this. How, how could anyone see that and think this woman is qualified to teach aquatic biology? We liked her so much, too, at the time. Literally at the time, I was like, I like she inspired me. I was like, wow, she's this like awesome person. When I made the Orfish documentary, because I made that documentary when I was in high school, I considered interviewing her because I was like, wow, she's so knowledgeable. She taught me so much about aquatic biology. Meanwhile, she had fish and tangling. It's actually insane that like when you look up to people as a kid, you just think that adults can do no wrong and that adults have just got it figured out. And you realize later adults are just kids in bigger bodies and they have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> That's lovely. Terrible idea. I mean, coins leech all co all kinds of stuff. I guarantee these coins are leeching all kinds of metals into the water. Whoever thought of this should be fired. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, imagine having to shit with the goldfish behind you. What does this accomplish? This is so trashy. This is like most of the the aquariums, like the shitty ones we've seen, have been like an attempt to do something unique and cool. You know, like put it in a table or like put it in a wall or under like a grill or something like that. This is just trashy. No one can look at this and be like, even if it was done amazingly, even if this was done so well, even no one could look at that and be like, what the fuck? That fish has seen things. Literally <laughs> shitty aquariums. <laughs> Literally shitty aquariums. Someone is going to drunk, drunkenly miss the, the toilet. I love it. Everyone meet Nemo. Okay. <laughs> this tells a story. A jar with just a fake coral sand and a clownfish in it, and they named it Nemo. Meet Nemo? How about say goodbye to Nemo? Nemo's fucking dead. Jesus. What? What? They just got a bunch of glowfish and then just mix this guy in here? Why? For what? What was the point of this? Baby alligator in a tank? Oh my god. That's illegal, isn't it? That has to be illegal. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to transport large reptiles like this. There's no way this is legal. I thought you had to have like a sanctuary license and permit and everything. That's definitely illegal. I hate this damn fish. He has to live alone because he's a bully. He tears up all his plants that he ever planted. He digs up the substrate. Never do anything to his water because I stay mad at him, but he is thriving. It's hard to tell from this picture, but he's huge. They don't clean the tank because they're mad at him. <laughs> that is a funny thing. Imagine being so petty that a fish, just living as a fish, digging up the gravel, is like, you're like, no, I'm not gonna clean your tank until you stop moving the gravel, even though you're a fish that is literally by nature intended to move gravel. Turning a jellyfish lava lamp into a beta tank. No. Don't do that. Oh yeah, you cleaned it. That's great. Okay. $21 spent. Well, if you talk about how you're going to have to replace the betta fish once a week, that money is going to start adding up very soon. Okay. So we fill a bowl with, with balls. Gravel balls. Put some water in that bitch. Put some cocoa powder. What the fuck is this? What is going on? How did this- What? How did we get here? Those plants grew? Okay, and then they just put a shitload of fish in the tiny green bowl. Those are plant seeds? Well, I realized that later. 
This does, this is a five minutes crafts for sure. Help, I can't keep my tank from turning green. I even bought a brand new tank and started over and it still went right back to green. I've done so many water changes, used all sorts of chemicals. What am I doing wrong? Holy shit. That's not like the normal green where it's like there's some, there's some like, you know, algae growing on your walls. This is RGB, this is rainbow green. It looks like Mountain Dew. Yeah, your first problem was filling your fish tank with Mountain Dew. All sorts of chemicals is a funny way to put it. Yeah, I would recommend less light and probably don't pour fertilizer in there because that's the only fucking way you've grown a Baja Blast fish tank. There's no way they didn't put fucking fertilizer in there. I, I refuse to believe that this is not like green apple soda. This is insane. That kitten is going to end up inside of that tank. Damn, rip the fish. Imagine that being your life. Imagine being put in a tube barely larger than you, and at all times there's a hungry bear outside scratching on the glass following you around. That's that fish's life, until you eventually die or the bear finds his way in. Okay. Jesus Christ. That's just... insane. For some reason this one looks worse. You know what I mean? This one looks worse than normal. Like, yeah, there's bettas and like shitty tanks. This looks awful. Like, I see this and I'm like, ooh. My brain is, I don't know what it is, but like something about my natural human instinct brain looks at this and finds it so much worse than a betta or a goldfish in a bowl. Yeah, it's a bigger fish in a smaller tank. It just looks ridiculous. I don't think, how, I can't imagine anyone looking at this and being like, yeah, that, that's reasonable. Now I have no clue what kind of fish this is, but there were three of them in a small pond. Yeah, those are Arapaima. The pond doesn't look that small. You can see all of there. I mean, I can't tell the actual size. It's probably not. It's probably too sh too shallow. Well, no, Arapaima like to come up to the surface for air. So they kind of need shallow water. I don't know. It's not the best pond, but what the fuck are you going to do for Arapaima? Yeah, I mean, for a six to eight foot fish, that's not bad. That's not the worst one I've seen. I don't hate that one. I found out my mom keeps a betta fish, but it's in a 1.5 gallon tank with no heater, no heater and has fin rot. Lovely. Jesus, that's how you can tell. That's how you can tell you're taking great care of your fish when it literally looks like a tattered cloth, like a blanket that you got when you were three and still have. That fish is dead, might as well be. This is my favorite animal. Jesus Christ, why is the water cloudy? Why is the goldfish gasping for air at the surface should tell you that something is horribly wrong with your with your water. If the fact that it's a cloudy white water didn't tell you that something was wrong with it, the fact that the fish is literally gulping for air at the surface should be an indication. If a fish is an air breather or a facultative, a air breather, facultative air breather, they'll come up and they'll go and then they'll go back down. They won't fucking do whatever this is. Jesus Christ. My cousin's fishing. Both goldfish died. Now the only koi is alive. I managed to convince him to put a filter in there. I told him that a koi can't live in there. He won't listen. Show him what a koi looks like. Have you guys seen a koi? I feel like all you have to do is look at a full-grown koi and be like, oh, yeah, no, that's that's bigger than this little box, huh? Aw, cute turtle. Awful tank. Awful. What? What a weird selection. Turtle, a betta fish, and some danios. That's, um, so odd. Just weird and gross. My sister's dentist office. Why do they think this looks good? Even if you don't care about the fish's well-being or you're ignorant, this just like purely from an aesthetic per like an aesthetic perspective, this just looks bad. Like, does this look good to anyone? Even if you knew nothing about fish and you thought that this was acceptable, it doesn't look good. It's just yeah, it's just like a sad empty shelf with like a bowl of water on it. The aesthetics are just ugly. Me trying this trend, seeing if it'll be hard. Oh God, just a shitload of goldfish in this fucking tank. Lovely. And there's not even a light on. Turtle tank in my science room. Yep. I'm pretty sure like everyone in high school had this. I think every single high school in the country has a weird like laboratory science room in it where there's a turtle living in a, like a five gallon tank. I feel like I, every high school that I went to, because I used to go to debate tournaments, and every debate tournament that I would go to, I would see one of these. Like I would be debating in a room because we had to go into like different rooms at the high schools that we were at. And there would be one of these tanks. I feel like every high school had it. I don't think I ever went to a high school that had a, had a weird turtle in a five gallon tank. Jesus Christ. 
hope that isn't a fish on the right. It absolutely is. That's absolutely two goldfish back to back in a cloudy water bow front tank. Insane. That's an arapaima. Oak, or not an arapaima, arowana. Yeah, so that's a fish that gets like, I can't even show it on camera. It goes beyond the lens of the camera, like fucking this. Uh, and that is in, in a cube, in like a little jelly cube. $20 aquarium, $1,000. Jesus. $1,000 for your low water, knocked over fake plants. Did they really think someone's going to buy it? They really didn't want to sell it. This was like some guy and his wife was like, you have to sell the, you have to sell the tank. We're getting rid of it. And he was like, I really don't want to. So he lowered the water, turned everything on its side, and then put it up for way too high of a price so that no one would ever buy it. Least scammy Ohio marketplace offer. Yeah, this is actually a good deal in Ohio. If you find something like this in Ohio, it's great. TikTok and a betta fish. How does this keep happening? Do you think the people learn? Do you think people realize, like, they post their cute, they, what they think is like a cute fish to TikTok, and then all the comments are like, hey, that's fucked up. Do you think that they, I feel like a lot of the time the people get defensive. They're like, no, I know what I'm talking about. My fish is happy. I know my fish. My fish is sick. He's, he's, do, he's doing well. There's nothing wrong with my fish. Do you think anyone actually like reads the TikTok comments and is like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should make a change. Nice. Another garami in a bowl. What is the obsession with putting a garami in a bowl? At least goldfish and betta fish are hardy and can like survive a while. I mean, that's maybe not the best thing because it's like fucking torture, but why are there garamis in bowls? That's just such a bad call. Biology teacher's aquarium. Yep. Yep. Again, this is literally what we had, but not it wasn't just a normal biology teacher. We had an aquatic biology teacher who taught at the school aquatic biology, the biology of aquatic things, and yet could not do better than fake plant and a bunch of goldfish inside a fucking tiny ass tank. I changed 50% of the water yesterday and there's no difference. What is the full image? Oh my god. I close my curtain most days to shield from the sun. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> wow. Man, some people really just fucking out here pouring Baja Blast in their tanks. This is insane. And you know what's crazy? They'll go to a pet store, they'll go to a fish store, and the fish store employee will be like, oh yeah, you just need to buy an algae eater. Obviously, you need someone to eat the algae. And they'll, they'll sell you a Pleco for a 10 gallon tank to eat the algae. It's insane that aquarium store employees get along, get away with what they get away with. Literally just missing forming people. 16 female bettas in a five gallon tank. You know, I don't think that quite makes the, the rule of the amount of space that they need. Oh my God, is it a piano tank? Okay, this could actually be cool. This had a chance to be cool, but it's got a fucking Oscar, it's so trashy. If the top was like open, oh, but the water damage to the piano. Oh my God, your pi you are, you've got a terrible tank, an ugly, disgusting tank, and you're damaging your highly expensive piano with water damage. This is just a lose-lose. The idea is interesting, but y you just ruined everything. Your piano is going to be ruined. Your tank is going to be ruined. Would you believe that this is a fish tank at an animal care college? Unfortunately, I would. Yeah, because I've seen worse at other places like vet clinics. Dude, vet clinics are the worst. The fact that people go to veterinary school, learn about how to take care of and treat animals, and still come back and put goldfish in bowls is insane to me. If you see a, a goldfish in a bowl at a vet clinic, do not go back to that vet clinic. Like, that's insane. They clearly did not learn anything about taking care of animals in any way. I don't think most vets learn about fish. Yeah, but they start with basic biology and the knowledge of animals in general, and then there's like diseases and things like that. There's some basic misconceptions that a vet or someone who went to veterinary school, four years of college and then four years of veterinary school should not have. My aunt's aquarium in her salon. Yeah, well, that's about expected. Yeah, just buy a bunch of random shit and put it in an empty tank. Why not? Oh, nice pleco. As always, the pleco gotta be in there. This is a decent big bowl. It's more than enough for a pair of fishes. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I might argue with you there that this is big enough for a pair of fishes. Maybe a pair of the smallest fish in the world. Jesus Christ. This fish is longer than the aquarium. 
they got a pleco this is like people get plecos and they're like oh no it grows to the size of the tank you don't have to worry about it getting huge it'll just grow to the size of the tank it won't get too big and then you see this which is bigger than the tank what can i keep in a two gallon tank Two gallon tank is ideal for smaller beginner tanks. Smaller than one gallon jar, but bigger than a bowl. Can accommodate up to six goldfish. <laughs> or three feeder guppies? Why do guppies take up half as much space as goldfish? What is this ratioing? Fishkeepingfolks.com Goldfish literally get like this big and guppies stay this big. Why would this need half as much room as this? Jeez, <laughs> at a shopping center? This is in a public place. That's oh, wild. Look at this fish peering through. Look at this guy. He's like, help me, please do something. It literally looks like slime. Like they filled the tank with like Nickelodeon level slime. Saw this at my partner's aunt's house. That's got to be a fake fish. Okay, it's not a fake fish. This one I would look at and I'd be like, all right, that's a fake fish. That's a robot fish. There's no way. That's just insane. It's in some kid's bedroom, and they love that fish. I have no fucking clue what they're doing. Aquarium in the National Park in Germany, really small and crowded. Yeah, aquarium tanks tend to be pretty crowded because they try to fit like certain exhibits into a thing, but generally they take enough care at like aquariums and have enough knowledge that they can like treat the animal well enough, keep the water quality up at all times. And then that kind of eliminates a lot of the problems of overcrowding the biggest problem with overcrowding besides you know not having enough space is like the chemical imbalances and the instability and all the things going on in the tank um so if you're an aquarium and you have the infrastructure to manage all of that stuff then it's not always a huge deal to overstock because you can manage the water quality really well it also depends on the fish themselves my chemistry teacher should know better jesus christ Hey, if this tank was filled all the way up, it wouldn't even be that, oh, well, there's a turtle and a bunch of goldfish. Okay, it would, oh, there's two turtles. Okay, never mind. When it was just a few goldfish, I was like, this wouldn't even be that bad. And then two turtles showed up. <laughs> Someone's final project in my environmental science class. Yes, that's a minnow in the water. What was your project? Can I create the most disgusting? How fast can I kill a fish using only a Coke bottle and the dirt outside? <laughs> is, that, is that, was that the project? Cause if so, I think they're gonna get an A.